right, so we're gonna be breaking down the three ways that you can improve your kick. Number one, you see it right there on the screen, high volume. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking right now, but Lucas, you preach, don't do high volume. It's bad for technique, it's this and it's that. And I agree with all of those things with one minor exception. High, the reason why I'm not a huge fan of high volume for swimmers is because it develops terrible, terrible, terrible stroke habits. And chances are, depending on the kind of swimmer you are, you don't really need a ton of high mileage unless you're a 400, 1500, free, you know, 800 freestyler, right? You don't, you, if you're a 200 butterfly or, or a 100 breaststroker, you don't need to be doing 7, 8K practices. But there is one crucial exception, and it is the one major secret to kick. Are you guys ready for the biggest secret to getting faster at kick? Are you ready? The secret to getting faster at kick is that you just need to do a whole heck of a lot more of it, right? So that might be, and again, you might be a little bit like, okay, well, why should I not be doing mileage for my stroke, but I should be doing it for my kick? Because when you're doing it for your kick, it gets rid of what I just talked about, you know, having those bad stroke habits. One of the best secrets to doing kick is to just do a whole heck a lot more of it. If you're, if you're so someone like me, I'm a 200 butterfly. If my coach had me doing, you know, thousands or 400 freestyles or whatever straight, I would do them kick. And the reason for that being is I don't want to develop poor technique for my freestyle, but also there is such a huge advantage to doing aerobic kicking. I cannot even explain it to you. What was one of my favorite kick sets of all time? Five 1000s kick holding 130 pace. That is one of my favorite sets of all time time long course and i know it sounds like a little bit of a drag probably not the number one thing that you wanted to hear right off the bat but seriously guys i encourage you start doing a lot more kick if you feel like you're doing garbage mileage if you feel like you're doing garbage yardage switch to kick do a little bit of extra kick you're building that endurance you're still working the same aerobic systems you're not sacrificing any technique and the difference that you're gonna see in your kick is actually crazy I mean, for myself, I, for me, it's not a workout. It's not a practice if I'm not doing at least two to three K of kick. 80, I, well, 80 is a little bit high, but probably, honestly, probably 60% of the actual in-water swimming that I do is volume kick. It's either quality butterfly or volume kick, right? Like for myself, it's one of those two things. And obviously you're going to be doing a lot more mileage than you are quality. So I'm turning that into kick. Um, Another thing that's great, maybe if in your program you don't have the opportunity or don't have the leisure to do that, stay in the water or come early or whatever. Do an extra thousand or two of kick. It doesn't have to be straight. You can break it up into sets however you'd like to. But seriously, it's, um, it compounds, right? It always adds. It always makes a difference. Um, like I said, I was doing five one thousands kick on 130 pace long course with the board. Um, and when I first started swimming with my coach, before I really started to do a lot more kick, you know, I was still a good kicker, but I couldn't even kick under 140 for a single hundred, let alone hold 130 for five 1,000. So there's a huge difference there. And you definitely will see the difference in the back end of your stroke. So start doing some mileage. But if there's anything that I love, it's a good, uh, it's a good switcheroo. So for as much mileage, high volume kick that you should be doing, you should also be doing the fast sprint quality kick as well. That is also super important because again, it's all good to be super in shape, but you want to be powerful. You want to be fast as well, right? So being able to kind of find a happy marriage between the two where you're doing a ton of volume kick, but you're also adding in enough quality so that you're working those speed systems. You're feeling what it's like to, to be moving faster. One of the things that I like to do um, is I like to do uh, descending 100s kick right so so start off it's nice and aerobic and as you kind of get into the set as you kind of start to get tired then you need to hammer in on your quality you need to start going fast i love doing stuff like that right where you do you know 100 on two minutes 100 on 150 100 on two minutes 100 on 140 so on so forth right you keep going down Sets like that are an incredible marriage of doing these two things in training. And I think that that, well, I know because it, it worked for me and it worked for a whole heck of a lot of swimmers. That sort of thing, if you're struggling with your kick, is going to make a huge, huge, huge difference for you. Okay.
And number three is leg power on land, baby. Guys need to be hitting, hitting those squats, am I right? Um, but no, seriously, seriously. Um, one, of the, one of the best things that swimmers can be doing um, is a lot, a lot of power work for your legs, especially, again, if you're a 200 swimmer or below. You need to start building that strength, right? Because you do, what is swimming, right? Swimming is so much aerobic work. You need to make sure you're not neglecting uh, using your legs for power as well. We, I actually am going to be adding uh, a full leg dry land program into the academy. Uh, I guess it's Friday today, so that will probably be dropping for you guys on Monday. So that's something to look forward to, get excited for. Um, just on a quick note, though, another thing that I want to talk about for kick, uh, it's actually not part of this presentation, but I think is actually something that would really help you guys um, as well, because I know a lot of you struggle with flexibility and, you know, maybe not especially some of the younger swimmers here who are in this chat you guys don't even necessarily need to be worrying about doing weights just yet maybe not until you're a little bit older um so something i would recommend and it's good whether you're young old a great kicker a terrible kicker doesn't matter is something that i like to talk about called stress kick and stress kick is essentially again a lot of aerobic kicking but you throw on if you guys have ever seen uh those arena fins or those fins that are kind of just a little bit wider um, what they actually do is they push down on the tops of your feet a little bit. Um, so that actually works on the flexibility of your feet, which is huge for a kick. So a great thing to do is to do a strong kind of aerobic kick with fins, but really exaggerate the size of your kicks because that is going to be huge for developing flexibility. And also think working with fins is essentially like working with weights anyways, but you don't have to obviously pick up a big bar and big weight. And it's very, very applicable to what you're doing in the water. So try out some stress kick. Um, if you guys want after this call, you can always text me or uh, email me and I can send you some good workouts uh, for some stress kick stuff as well. Okay. So those are kind of just a few pretty basic things that you guys and kind of kind of ways that you can be looking at your kick and looking at your kick in training to really, really start developing kind of that perfect kick that you really want. Because like I always talk about with you guys, your kick is your engine. I mean, for myself, my kick is probably 80% of my butterfly. So by extension, 80% of the part of swimming uh, that, I, that I do, right? Um, so kick is huge, guys. Kick is your engine. Kick is the thing that's going to get you to those goals. It's going to make sure that you aren't dying out at the end of your race, all those sorts of things. So if there's one thing that you take away from this, all these kind of different training methods to improve your kick, just know how important it is that you are obsessively working on your kick. It is your engine.